In this video, we're going to talk about how to lengthen a data frame using the tidyr pivot underscore longer function. That function is going to gather multiple columns and then spread them across multiple rows, making the new data frame narrower but longer. The main arguments of the pivot underscore longer function are data, which is the data frame that you want to pivot, the calls argument, which is the columns from which to gather the values you want to place in your rows, the names underscore two argument actually specifies the name of a column. Specifically, when you want to gather the values from, these, from the columns in this argument, it's going to take the names of those columns and put them in their own, own column. And the name of the column to which the names are going to be gathered is specified using names underscore two. And lastly, values underscore two is the name of the column to which the values gathered in this argument are going to be placed. So perhaps the best way to understand what these arguments are doing is to actually use them to pivot a particular data set. And we're actually going to pivot two different data sets, table 4a and table 4b. We want to lengthen those data sets. So here is table 4a, and you see that we have the different countries, and then we have two columns, 1999 and 2000. And as we discussed earlier, the 1999 column in this case represents the cases for each country in the year 1999. And the 2000 column is the number of cases observed in each of these countries in the year 2000. However, these are not observations. We measure the cases in a specific year for each country. And so that needs to be an individual row. So these columns actually need to be gathered into a single column because these are all case values. And we need to spread that information across multiple rows because this actually contains the information for multiple observations, Afghanistan in different years. So to pivot this data frame longer, we want to gather these two columns, the 1999 and 2000 columns. We need to make a new column based on the names of these two columns. And that's going to be the names to argument. And so that is going to be specified to be equal to year. And then we need to place these values into their own column, which we're going to call cases. So I've actually taken that information and I've put it in this function here. And so we're going to pivot longer table 4a. We want to gather the columns 1999 and 2000. Note that because you cannot use numbers as column names in R by default, this is actually a special syntax for a tibble. And so we can gather, so we have to use the back tick in order to access the columns that we want to pivot longer. The names of those columns are gonna go into the year column and then the values for those columns are going into the variable cases. And you can see what we have obtained down here. So you can see that we have pivoted longer these two columns. These two columns have actually been combined into a single column, which is shown as cases here. And then these column names here have been given their own column, which we've called year. We want to do something identical to table 4b, though this is for a different variable. This is for the population values of each country. However, I used literally the exact same commands as before, except that the values underscore two argument becomes population instead of cases, and we get something close to a tidy set down here. However, we still have a problem in that the information for our observations is actually spread across multiple data frames. And so we're going to need to combine this information into a single data frame so that it can be considered tidy data.